Hey besties, so what I'm going to be doing today is a crayon box for my niece's birthday party. So these are mini crayon boxes. They fit five crayons to each box. So I'm going to show you how I did my template and I'm going to also give you guys the measurements. To start off, I'm going to show you how the template looks because I did have to change it a little bit in order for me to be able to use it with Cricut because their print to cut measurements are only 9.25 by 6.75 it would not allow me to print a whole sheet so I had to basically make it into uh, two templates in order to use it so this is how it looks when you first get the template um, it's two to a page if you did it with Microsoft Publisher or Microsoft Word you would be able to do so but because this is um, Cricut that I'm cutting it with and it would be a little bit time consuming to cut a large amount of these by hand I want to be able to use my Cricut to do this um, so I'm going to go back to Cricut and give you guys the measurements the measurements that you're going to use are 4.6 by 5.5 and then I'll show you basically how to use these measurements so I'm going to hide all of these items and then we will get to the template So I'm going to go ahead and insert my template. I am going to make my measurements 11 and then it'll automatically populate to 8.5. I'm going to go ahead and insert a shape. I'm going to stick it at this very edge and I'm going to make this 11. Click my lock proportions by 8.5. Okay, I'm gonna move this to the back and I just wanna make sure that there's no gray showing at all. I have that the way I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and slice. Okay, I'm gonna remove the front and I'm also gonna remove this. And this is what I'll be left with. I end up slicing them so that I can use two templates so I'm going to just make this as big as my template like this slice I want to remove this and now I have three So that is how you separate the template and at this point you'll click your lock and you'll go 4.6 by 5.5 for each of them. I'm going to go here to my control panel. I'm going to go to patterns and I'm going to choose the chevron pattern right here. Okay, everything else, basically what I'm going to do is just place it on there where I want it. Instead of doing the heart that I did for the girls boxes, I'm doing a circle for the young men.
The other thing that you're going to need to do for this is you're going to need to enter score lines. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. So how you enter a score line is you're going to start with your shapes. You're going to enter the score line and you will drag it down the whole length of your template. this point, since it's pretty much the size you need it to be, just duplicate it about four times. This one I'm going to flip horizontal, okay? Just make sure that your line is not crooked because that will make your box crooked okay so I try and line it up with my grid line to make sure that it's straight okay and then that line I'm gonna use for right here going across my box I'm gonna duplicate this a few times as well because I need one for down here And I also need one smaller one for this top part here. So I'm going to duplicate that and then put it down here. Okay. So that's pretty much what you'll do for your score lines. Once you have them in place, you can hide your template and then attach your score lines so that they don't move. Okay. So now that I have finished my template designing it the way that I want I'm going to put my score lines in and this is a good way for you to be able to tell how your uh, box will print so if you need to move things over you can because this will basically be where you fold so any where that the score line is is basically going to cut off. So it'll cut off part of this star, part of the circle, so on and so forth. So if you wanted it, you need to move it back between those lines. Okay. So that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it. And at this point, I'm going to take my design and I'm going to flatten it. Okay. I'll move my square lines back. And then I'll go and attach this together. Okay, now I'll go to make it, continue, send to printer, advanced options, print. crayon boxes here and what I'm gonna do is use my ruler to since this is cardstock and maybe a tiny bit thicker and I have not gotten that scoring well yet um, sometimes when you make your score lines you have to sort of reinforce them a little bit with folding so I am just using my ruler as a guide 